Ranger Goddess here. Uh, I'm here with a master case for GBT05 Moonlight Dragon Fang. Moonlight Dragon Fang, whatever. As you can see, two cartons or whatever inside. Uh, I will probably be doing only one carton, but before we get into that, here's the new poster for GBT6 English. Uh, you guys might have seen the post online already, um, but it does reveal the pre release playmat as. Uh, Night Rose. So she's probably a GR, but it's nice that we're getting a Grand Blue playmat at last. And uh, for those of you who've seen the images online, notice that I think around here and here there are IYG symbols. So that probably means it was posted by us first. But uh, yeah, I'm going to get right into here and we'll see what we get. So, oh, carton here. Uh, open it up. There you go, a bunch of boxes. Awesome. Uh, let's see how I want to do this. And I suppose I'll just do most of these off camera and then we'll skip to the results. Go ahead and do the boxes as much as I want to anyway on camera. Uh, and there will be results at the end, of course, as always. <sighs> My nails aren't as sharp as they used to be. Uh, no box promo, sadly. Best way to do this. We start on the left side. There you go. One. Clock fencer. Triple rare. It's all right. That thing. Lobe. Is that two? It's two triples. Oh, nice. SP off the bat. Uh, it's actually the SP I wanted, too. For one of them. I think that replaces a triple. Hope not. Oh, okay. I don't even know what that was. The wood? Not bad. Well, the ultimate box for Pale Moon fans if there's a Harry in here. But I doubt it. I don't think they would put a uh, GR with a SP. 
There you go. I think GR replaced the triple, so. Don't think there's anything left in this box that's worth it. Well, that was a good start. All right. All right. Let's go straight down the row. Aha. Uh -huh. Did I get that one? Gotta be a better way to do this. Uh. Too many dark comments. Like this. Okay, another one of those, off the bat. Um, that. I hope I don't do that, actually. So, suppose, I guess, the way the ratios work, you have to get a uh, double rare SP, and I have the double rare SP, the perfect shield. So it's the one I wanted. Uh, so I'm hoping that means no more double rare SPs. Oh no, it's looking very similar. Okay. Okay. Good. Four. I think that's the triple in this case or box. Arrestor. So that was second box. It's all right. Wasn't too bad. Okay, shield. Not bad. Nightmare doll. Honestly, I hope this case has a secret rare pack. I've never had one of those, nor have I seen one opened. 
So, curious to see. Uh, so, so now. And it would be awesome to do it. Uh, though, I think this set secret rare pack isn't as good. Ah, uh, yuck. <clears throat> wow, so disappointed that my stack of comments fell. Okay. <laughs> Gotta find a spot for those. Wow. Uh, yeah. Arrestor SP. Not ideal. At all. I don't think I pulled any triples though in this box yet. Did I? Oh, it's this one actually. I don't think any of the triggers are SPs. It uh, may have been a missed opportunity. Ugh, voltage. Really hope I don't get that SP actually. So last I checked, at about fifty something dollars, the Pale Moon SP Perfect Guard was the most expensive card in the set. Who knows if that's longer the case or not? Uh, let's see, actually. Curious. Did I get the name of all this one? Oh. Alright. Uh, I apologize in advance if there's not all 16 boxes on camera. Camera battery's getting kind of low. Uh, I got work here. In a little bit, actually, as well. Uh, so, let's see how far it lets me go. That thing again. Funny that I don't actually own a Messiah deck. And this. I think those two are comboed together in terms of the boxes you get them in. Now. It will be funny if I get a secret pack and I somehow skip it. And then I, someone points out in the comments and I later on find out about it as well. Like when I'm sorting commons or having people sort commons.
But I've also found out, uh, since, well, I really found out, but confirmed over the years, that those nice, um, clock are, I hope I don't get that SP, actually, either. But, uh, the, uh, regional play mats and stuff like that actually get sent to stores as well. Uh, I mean, not before the regional or anything, but, like, months down the line, they do send, I guess they get extras and they send them to stores, which are nice. Uh, you're supposed to use them like, prizes or whatnot. Um, so for those of you who missed that, Harry, who missed the original and still want a play mat or something, and, uh, and it's expensive on eBay for whatever reason, Uh, your stores could probably do an event where you can win one. Down the line. Of course, some stores will keep everything, so... Uh, it's not indicative of all stores. So I'm actually curious now... Definitely replace the triple. Where if it's another one of those blink messiahs. Oh, there you go. But this is interesting though. First four boxes, uh, two out of potentially four SPs and one out of four or five GRs. Chaos Universe. Kind of pissed if the uh, <laughs> SPs on this are all double SPs. Glow Magus is good for Magus. Magus. And Magus as a whole needs more something. Oof. To kind of push them. They're just not that strong, sadly, or not. Mm, mm. Okay, ah, oh, that's three. Ow, oh, ah, oh, that hurts. Okay, uh, please, not all the double SPs be in this case. Well, if it is, 
Oh, it should please be a fucking secret. <laughs> I forgot that was on the set. Whenever you get double rare SPs. Alright, let's see. There's eight triple rares in a set. All eight can be SPs. And then there's four double rares that can be SPs. I think if you get the double rare SP, that either that should be the case. Because uh, if you think about it, there's at least three variants of cases, right? then that should be the case with the secret rare, because you're not getting triple rare SPs. That might as well count as a double rare SP. Or maybe an extra SP or something. Extra SP, extra GRs. So you can get rewarded for getting the quote-unquote worst case, in a sense. We'll see. I think Night Rose is going to be potentially expensive GR. Uh, whether for perverted reasons or not, girls tend to sell very well. Uh, beautiful girls, I might say, tend to sell very well uh, in any type of geeky card game, whatever. That would have been a good SP too. Because you guys got to admit that a big reason uh, people like certain things is aesthetic. Like, we shouldn't. I don't know. I guess we shouldn't. But the truth of life is that we do. So. For good or for bad. Seven plus.
But yeah, probably only going to get through eight boxes before I have to start skedaddling out of here. I'll finish the rest in a few hours. You guys won't notice. I'll all be in one video. Really take Dragon. It's great. Uh, rather, kind of need it for Pale Moon. But, for those of you who want to be budget, uh, this GBC6 will have a double rare that's pretty much as good. No crit, but serves the same purpose. Um, honestly, you don't really need the crit unless you push it for the game, so maybe two Lunatics. Uh, one Amelia, a Harry, and four of the new, I think it's, is it Mephisto? I find it interesting though, uh, like OTT, in a sense, uh, the main part of the clan, Susan or whatever, seems to be moving away from females, and then things like Grand Blue are moving toward females, or like to, to mow it up, away it up. Perhaps, uh, I mean that's to make Grand Blue more popular, of course. Female pirates, right? Ugh. Oh, jeez. Okay, I think that's every double recipe. Okay, all the double recipes are in one case. I've confirmed that. Wait, can I confirm the other hunch of the secret pack being in this case? We'll see. I would be happy too if Bushiro surprises me and says, Hey, there's actually going to be an extra SP in this case. Or there's more than four SPs in the case now. But Bushiro has not been known to uh, surprise me in a good way. Well, I suppose the Grand Blue Play Mat is a good surprise. But, in a way, with their trend of doing GRs and the Harry GR being a play mat, can I say that I saw it coming? I'd be worried that in eight bo in eight boxes I've seen one GR. Uh, though to be fair, four SPs. I 
wouldn't mind if this is the case with the multiple or the uh, God Pack of GRs or multiple Chaos Universes. That would be nice. Okay, got some time. Uh, I'm just gonna go to the next one. There's another box. There. Keep knocking down this stupid the table. I think I'm gonna have nightmares, so I keep seeing his stupid double rest. Oh, an Excelix. It's about time. Start seeing one of those. Should see at least two. Hopefully. This is box 10. Okay. Totally must have that pack.
I find it amusing. In the world of card games, misprints are worth more money. Uh, but if you get like a quote unquote misprint elsewhere, <laughs> it's like a defect. And you want usually want your money back. I've been seeing that way too much. That's the alarm, okay. So, take a little break after this box, and I'll be back. Gary? And that was box 10. Okay. Managed to inch some time. This is 11, 12. Let's see if I can get a couple boxes done. Or maybe go through all of them. Before I go. Yep. Some of my biggest regrets for Vanguard, though, have been not buying a case of GBT-3. Um, there were various things that came into play, uh, but the biggest thing was I was getting more into Force of Will at that time. And I like Force of Will, I do. But, oh my gosh. Jeez, if you ever think Vanguard is broken, ever, Force of Will. It's like a whole another ballpark. At least in its current iteration. There were good times. But uh, I think things were regressing, escalating too fast, so to say, with that game. And there's so many good bonuses for buying boxes and singles are extremely hard to move in that game. Unless you're a locals and even then I hear a lot of locals, at least around here, are not doing very good with that game in terms of singles. Singles are the lifeblood of a store, just by the way. Because uh, with the internet pricing and everything, most stores are not going to be able to make back a lot of money. At least not to keep their doors, not enough to keep their doors open anyway. Via booster sales, it's just not going to happen. I still think Clock Pencer was a waste of a triple rear slot. It's actually. Some of the triple rares, uh, or one of them, the alt model grade two or whatever, in GB6 does not look like it should have been a super or a triple rare. It's a moderate upgrade over I think Twin Swordsman, but if that's what they got to do to stop some of the power creep, then that's what they got to do.
Well, man, we're talking about people say a lot of female cards uh, in card fight. Yeah, and they're adding more, but like they're Moa fighting uh, Grand Blue and Spike Brothers and Ubatama and whatnot. It looks like, but. You gotta realize that, like things like the booster packaging, still are not showing any of that. Like, I think extra booster is the only time we've seen a female on a booster cover, uh, and of course we see them on their trial decks or whatnot. But uh, even in uh, GBTO2, which I don't think Chrono was really even heavily, he didn't really get much support of any. Uh, it should have been Tokoha on the cover, even that she is not on the cover. She's supposed to be a main character. Like that, the next set, the guy with the alt mile is on the cover. GP6 has the, uh, I, don't, I don't know the guy's name. But we still have not seen a booster with Tokoha on the cover, surprisingly. But, I suppose that's to say that there's Far Fight is still a children's game, so to say. So <laughs> little kids only want to see dragons and shit like that on the cover, supposedly. For better or worse. Attack. Actually, we should see more GRs, I think. I'm losing my coordination. Oh, I got a battler twice, okay. Uh, I hope to see at least two more GRs. This is going to be a very disappointing case.
looking bad. Alex. I don't like those, by the way. GRs that support other GRs. Uh, in, a, in, in a way, also, <laughs> grade four to support other grade fours. I think it's a, it's a pretty money sink idea. But Recall from set six it is near impossible to move while our guys are dams. <sighs> Lucky it looks like a six. Celix is more. Huh, all right, not much good in that stack. So, two more boxes. So you Oh man, there needs to be some GRs in these boxes.
Okay, not bad. I'm gonna have more of a triple rare. I'd rather have Flash Universe anyway. Ah, uh, listen. There's usually one Harry in this whole case. Okay, open two, and I don't know. Okay, last. Box. Ticking down the time here. Ah. Uh. That's disappointing. Okay, last. Oh man, seriously no. Either I'm gonna be really sad or really happy these next few packs. Okay, an Excelix. Not bad. Huh. Sadly, no secret patch. Oh well. Uh, 
uh, yeah, I will be back with the roundup. Uh, Ash broke with the roundup here. So I did end up getting two Harry's, because uh, I wasn't, I didn't remember it. Three XLX, uh, SPs with a perfect guard, the Nara Conway thing, a Rester, uh, a Kagi thing. About five Chaos Universes, five Lunatics. I wish I had six of those instead. Uh, five of this right here thing. Five of her, six Globes, five of the Gear Chronicle, six Usanos, and six of the, I guess the Gauntlet Buster support. Is it? Yes, yeah, the Gauntlet Buster support. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Could have done better. Kind of wish I got a God Pack, but uh, it'd be funny if when the comment was sorted that there is a God Pack in there, but uh, yeah. So, uh, I'll be back with the double rares. To the double rares, looks like we have six of the OTT trigger, six of the Narukami trigger, six of the Messiah trigger, uh, seven of the Pale Moon trigger, eight of the Dark Side Princesses, seven of the Gear Chronicle, six of the Perfect Shield. Six of the Messiah there. Seven of the Dwarfs. Six of the Dragoons. Seven of the Kagis. Eight of the Dragons there. Um, I might be missing on double rares. I haven't counted, but... Uh, yeah, overall, these are the pulls. Um, see if I find anything else later, but... Uh, it's been Ash from Azure, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.